What is up everybody? My name is Nate. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to this roast session. So you guys submitted your collections to me to roast. Last time we did it just kind of reviewing your collections, but I'm going to throw in some spiciness into this. Please, no one get offended. I love you all. The first one is from Zen and he says, I would love to see you roast my collection. I'm 21 years old and I have been collecting for 1.5 years. Ones on the bottom are Jazz Club, By the Fireplace, and Eros Flank. Okay. All right. So let's start at the top here. You've got some summer beasts. You've got the cologne that doesn't do anything for you. It's just there as, you know, uh, emotional support and support your shopping addiction. You got the basic man lineup right there in the middle. Is that Polo Red Parfum? No, that's Polo Green. I can, I'm colorblind. Uh, Club de Nuit Intense Man. Sexy stuff. Look at that big ass bottle. It's got a little cap. Stupid. The the proportions are, are kind of like me. You know, small head, small, you know, big torso and small legs. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. You wear this to a date and you're gonna smell like her ex-boyfriend. Do it. And then on your second date, you could wear Lana Weed alone and, even, and be even more fucking basic. Oh, it's right there. And it's blue electric, you son of a bitch. Salvatore Ferragamo signature. Um, man, I, I need to get my nose back on that. I bought it like in 2019 and uh, I sprayed it on. I bought it from Marshall's, the little bottle. I bought it from Marshall's, sprayed it on in the car and I was repulsed. I instantly took it back. I literally unboxed it in the car packed it back up, went in there and said, it smelled like trash. So you smell like trash. I want to tell you, I love you. Obviously you've been watching way too much Jeremy fragrance. I'm sorry for you, sir. Thanks for submitting your collection. I appreciate you. Uh, and you know, my roasts are um, subpar. They're, they're subpar. This is more of a reviewing uh, than roasting because I'm terrible at roasting. All right, next up is from Mr. Singleton. And by the looks of it, you're a single man. <laughs> <laughs> Does your chair do this? That was so on the first image here. Oh my God, look at all these Manceras at the top. Jesus Christ, man. No wonder you're single. Wow, you got a lot of them. The picture is very blurry, so I can't even read any of these, but you got a blue bottle. You got a, uh, I think that's mint oud, oud. Oh, I want this. Give me this. This is 40 knots and I want this so bad. I am going, I'm going to get it. I really want to get a bottle of uh, bo I want to get a bottle of Elysium. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Then I can actually show. So sh can't even fucking speak. Then I could show my support to Raja Dove and his beautifulness, beautiful, beautiful madness. This is the I started watching fragrance content shelf here, and um, looks like it. Although there's the original Aqua Di Gio there, and uh, none of us recommend that, none of us. Fun facts about fragrance YouTubers is we just go and pull random shit from our shelves and, and call it our favorites. Welcome to the internet. It looks like you're a Dolce & Gambana sales rep because you've got like 75 million down here. You've got the O Intense, you've got the K, you've got the Intenso. You love Dolce & Gambana. I love how you put the two trash cans right next to each other. This uh, top shelf here looks like it's bending. You should get that checked uh, because that is a lot of Mancera up there. Listen, I'm not a carpenter, like, you know, the good Lord, but uh, that doesn't look right, sir. You should get that checked. All right, the next one is from Ciprian. Hopefully I'm uh, pronouncing that right. Um, what the hell is this? What kind of bed sheets are these? Like, are, are these like racing bed sheets? Uh, if you're a dating man, please um, change your bed sheets before you invite any girl over. A, a hot tip here, get a headboard and get some nice sheets, make them like um, earthy colors and then add a accent color to the earthiness. So if you have like, Earthy bed sheets add like a, a red, like a red pillow or a red throw blanket or a dark green throw blanket or a dark green pillow. And then match the accent color with the curtains and boom, you got yourself a douchebag um, mobile. All right, taking a look at your fragrance collection. You got the beast up top and I don't know what the hell this is. Zara tobacco collection. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, you've got the old lady fragrance. You've been watching way too many Jeremy fragrance videos. The thing smells weird. It smells like an old lady. But then you have the Masoni toy boy right next to it. And that's, that's Rose too. 
and that's a weird earthy green weirdness with rose in it. So that's even more weird. And then you got the tiramisu. What the hell are you doing? Encre Noir. Do you even care? Oh, Club de Nuit Intense Man at 9 p.m. You do care, my bad. And you can't go wrong with Armani Code Eau de Parfum. That stuff is good. That is some good stuff. And then this is uh, Oud Touch. Um, I, uh, Frank Olivia, I think it is. Um, from what I know, this is a, a tobacco vanille clone, maybe. I don't know. It's like 20 bucks, so it probably smells like crap. All right, the next one comes from S-G-M-I-T-R-E-V-8. Gotta get the eight in there. This collection belongs to my husband, Sasho. He's an avid watcher and I think he's gonna get a kick out of this. Oh, so this is an undercover. Get yourself a gem there, Sasha. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, okay. So this is the this is the shelf of the clones. This is the clone shelf. I see that you got on the lawsuit bandwagon, like I did. <laughs> they're all great. They're um they're all splendid. I like the tobacco vanille a lot. It's really good. And then the oud wood is also really good. A lot of people don't fuck with oud wood, but I do. I love. I love me some oud wood. And then you have some of the other Mason Alhambras that are probably immune to the whole lawsuit because they don't really look all that much like Parfum Smarly, so I think they're in the clear. But yeah, you got a lot of um, clones up here. And then you got the Misfit Spice Bombs that got banished to the clone shelf. This next photo looks like it's taken from a downward angle. So why do you have, why do you have your Parfums de Marly on your bottom shelf. You should be ashamed of yourself. Look at these, look at these beautiful ones. Oh my God. Greenly, sedly, uh, everything's blacked out, so. Oh wait, no, those are two of the same ones. Nope, they're not, they're definitely not. And then you got the little Parfums de Marley bottle. You got the uh, Parfums de Marley collection. Uh, you should uh, send some over my way. You're not gonna use all of them. And it looks like you got Baccarat Rouge, five, four. Wait a second, it's a fucking clone. That's a goddamn clone. You know, these clone houses are getting fucking ridiculous. I, am I the only one? I'm gonna call out all the cr f clone fragrance houses out there who cheat other people's bottles. Shame on you. Shame on you all. Mason Alhambra, I'm talking to you. And Fragrance World. Fragrance World, what the fuck, bro? It, it looks real, it looks real. I wonder if it smells good. It's like the dollar store fragrances that copy the bottle. Same thing in my eyes. What the hell is this? This is like the Temple of Dune, the Crystal Skull shit. And then it looks like you've got Phantom up there. And what is that up there? Throw it away. Throw it away. You have a quite nice collection, sir. I want your Parfums de Marley. I want them all. Keith, you've got the whole layout here digitally. This is great. So I can see, actually it's blurry. Way to go, Keith. All right, so I can't really see. So that's pure uh, Reserve Privé. It's all right. It's not the big hype beast that everybody thinks it is. Herod, Herod, I think this is Carlisle, but it's blurry, it's blurry. And then bad boy, uh, you've been watching way too many Jeremy fragrance videos. Yeah, you got a solid collection here. Do not wear this on a date. Don't wear it, I swear to God. Wear, wear these two on a date, the top one, these one. If you're a dating man, if you're a single man, you know. Keith, you smell absolutely incredible from just your picture. I don't know, you could probably have not showered in five weeks and uh, that would just be awkward. All right, Alan, let's see what you got. Alan, all right, Alan. Alan has been watching way too many of my videos. He's got Batafas, he's got Kayed, and Black Opium. Alan, do you want to talk about something? I'm just gonna assume that's his mom's and his mom keeps his her fragrances near you or on the same shelf as you. Um, I don't know why you would take a picture and send it to me with your mom's fragrance there, but, um, or maybe it's your second cousin. Anyway, you got a blue de Chanel, YSL Y Eau de Parfum. Very nice, very nice. I can see you in the reflection of the 9 p.m. bottle. I, I see you're not wearing any pants. Najdia in the back, Najdia. And then I think that one right there is a um, Sauvage clone. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway. You're pretty well-rounded here, sir. You smell like totally a basic bro. A good kind of basic bro. I mean, actually, no. You know what? A basic bro is like Axe body spray and like deodorant. I saw this video on um, YouTube shorts or TikTok or whatever it was, and some guy was like, you don't wear fragrances, throw away your fragrances. Just wear deodorant. And I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. Anyway, thank you, Alan. I appreciate you. 
Guys, I'm doing my best to try to roast you. I am, I'm trying my best. All right, Patrick, you're up. You sent me like seven pictures. What the f You know, one thing that actually has stood out to me in all these pictures is Gucci Envy for Men. Um, Patrick, these photos look like you're keeping your fragrances in captivity. Um, this is, you need some lighting, my man. Those little puck lights, you can like stick them to your top of your shelf and they shine down. Sparkles, sparkles on the caps. So I don't know what's in the back there. It's, I just see a bunch of bottles and caps and stuff and I probably pick out stuff. I see that you have blue electric, son of a bitch. Stronger with you, Oud. Uh, how is that one? If you're watching this, let me know how it is. I would love to know. I hear good things about it. And then I don't even know what this shelf is. I don't even know what all these bottles are down here. What is all this? Are you a manufacturer? Is this all chloroform? A pile of Zerzhovs. This is incredible. This, this whole shelf is probably worth more than my life. And then you have Nishane just hidden in the back there. Just, just stashed away. No one knows it's there. It's such a shame. Poor Elysium is getting like gang bang. And a mouage in the back. Actually, I think I know what that is. You have a you have a fragrance back here. I'm gonna I actually have it. It's this one. This one. It's this one. I'm shocked that I pointed that out. Uh, this is a minty fragrance, like a spearmint spice. This is enclosure by Ebraja. Ebraja? I'm probably saying that completely wrong. My apologies. Anyway, great collection here, Patrick. Um, you smell absolutely, absolutely fucking phenomenal. So keep, keep smelling great. Keep being a great person. You're an amazing gentleman. Dylan, what do you got for me, Dylan? Dylan West. This is Kanye West's brother. <laughs> Shit. Some, oh my God. Um, so the red wand of death. St. Bart's is really good. St. Bart's, I'll give you that. Why the hell do you have butt? You have Direct Noir body spray, and then you have Cremo, like, oh, there's a second shelf here. Uh, you have the limited edition Parfum, clubbed in a wee intense man. That's a good one. That is a solid. I just bought the Parfum, the Pure Parfum. I'm excited for that one. It's coming in a few days here. Shipping delays. Layden. I like Layden. It's a good one. It's a... Uh, Pretty sophisticated. I do, I do like it. it. It lasts pretty good. Siage is pretty good, and um, it smells absolutely identical to Layton. It really does. It's like 90% close. And then Los Angeles. I know what that one. Is. That's an Eros take. It 1981 Los Angeles. Pretty good for men. For men. Dylan, you have to throw away your bod spray, man. Uh, you're not 16 anymore. You throw it away. Throw it away. And while you're at it, throw away the body spray. We all know what we're talking about here. Throw it away. And throw away this bottle too. You can't hide from me. Cause then you'll you'll transition from smelling like shit, an old man, to beautiful soul. Dylan, thank you so much for submitting. Uh, you know, you smell absolutely fantastic. I'm just trying to roast you at this point. You can keep Drake Noir. Drake wears it. He has a tattoo of it. It's fucking stupid, but he has a tattoo of it. Elijah, let's talk, let's let's see what, Elijah, Jesus Christ, where are you taking this photo from? Are, do you live in like a mansion with, and this is your heated floor bathroom? This is incredible. Look at that marble. If this is your front entryway too, I'm, you need to invite me over and we need to party in your hot tub. I know you have a hot tub. If you have this tile, you have a hot tub, most definitely. You son of a bitch, you have blue electric. You wore a shit ton of that Hawass, man. You've been smelling absolutely magnificent. That's a big dent, sir. That is a huge dent. And you got a big bottle of Annie there. Good on you, sir. Good on you. That's some stunning stuff. The Tux. And it looks like the Tux has a pretty good dent in it, too. Insurrection Wild, too. And it looks like there's a dent in there, too. That's a huge dent, too. It's nice to see someone with a collection that actually wears their fragrances. Not shaming anybody, but uh, shade. I'm throwing shade. Mainly I'm throwing shade at myself. My entire collection is like 90% full. This is, this is getting ridiculous at this point. I resorted to just buying 50 mil bottles. I need to buy just 50 mil bottles so that I stop wasting my money. Cause look at this, every bottle here has a huge dent in it. Actually, I'm onto you. I know what you're doing. You're decanting. You're decanting out, you're selling it to your friends, 
and you're you're the cologne dealer. You're your friend's cologne dealer, and that's how you're I caught on to you. Every bottle is almost 50% full. I figured you out. All right, the next one is from Nick, and Nick has every fragrance that they sell at Macy's. That doesn't mean he smells bad. Nick smells great. Nick is the best guy, the best smelling fucker in, in um, wherever he's located. Wherever Nick is located, that place smells incredible because he's there. Nick is the G. But seriously, dude, you gotta get some like Mancera. Come on, bro. Everybody has Mancera now. It's like the cool thing to do. You gotta get some Mancera, or you gotta get some Michonne. Um, get a Parfums de Marley. Get Percival or Layton, yeah. Or if you wanted to be desperate and a clout chaser, get a, a YouTuber fragrance. Anyway, thank you guys for submitting your collections. You guys got some great collections. I'm just trying to roast you for whatever purpose. No need to take offense to this because it's fragrances on the internet. Here we are. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you have a great day, and thank you so much to everybody who submitted. You guys, a lot of people submitted their collections, and I couldn't really get to all of them, but you know, thank you everybody who submitted. I do appreciate every single one of you guys. So thanks so much. We'll see you next time.